All right, so this is a topic I've been looking to cover for a while now. There are so many AirPod type headphones that are available on the market. I did a video on a product called Black Pods, but the A was flipped. I didn't think much of it. I didn't realize how big the landscape of these kind of AirPod looking headphones really was. It's extensive. And of course I have a bunch of new ones that popped up in the AirPods Pro format. This one is called AirBuds Pro, the same company that did the black pods that I featured and they've got their very own black version of what the AirPods Pro look like. These are the original black pods, which by the way, you have no idea really what you're buying when you buy any of these. A number of people that based on that original video went out and tried to buy these ones and then ended up thinking they had received a different product than the one that I even showcased in a video. On top of that, there's people who paid money to certain websites and didn't get products back. so. Just as you are watching this, realize right now that this landscape is vast and bizarre. You don't really know what's what and what you're gonna get for your money. So keep that in mind for the record. Like this one is called Nokis. Look at that. These are a bit different. I've got them on the table because they just showed up as well. They're called Air Golds. First things first, if you ordered some of these in the past on the, based on the original video, you have some kind of problem with it. I just wanna speak directly to this company, Black. Please try to make it right by these people. Just refund their money if they didn't, if they can't receive the package. I don't know, do something. And I have no affiliation with this company at all. Nonetheless, we're gonna go over some of the newer options here. Before we get into it, I gotta give a quick shout out. We have a, an official Unbox Therapy unboxing knife. You've probably seen this on the channel. You can actually buy it right now. It is a collaboration, Unbox Therapy and Stat Gear. It's the Pocket Samurai. It's a pocket knife with the Unbox Therapy inscription on it. It's available on their website. It's also available on Amazon. But like I said, it's limited quantities. They have been doing this particular pocket knife for a while and then just sort of upgraded it for the Unbox Therapy version. Unbox your products like a professional. First things first, let's pop into these what are called the Air Buds Pro. Realme has the Buds Air. This company has the Air Buds. We still got the dog, Air Bud. Mm -hmm. So you gotta keep it all together now. They include the paperwork. It's very Apple-esque. It's almost like you bought the official thing here. The packaging is very, uh, well, it's Apple-esque. I think it's identical, to be honest. And this is what the cable looked like, Type-C connector. So, oh man, maybe the lid is a little more loose. You want to compare it? Oh yeah, do you have the... Yeah. Where are the AirPods Pro? Oh yeah, this is the AirPods Pro. Who can even keep it? <laughs> Look at the box. Okay, that's the AirPods Pro. So there they are, those two next to each other. Weight? Ooh, weight is very similar. The product from Apple, it has a smoother open close on the lid. The lid has a little bit of give like, like this, back and forth. The Apple one is a bit tighter. The black grill looks more like a mesh sticker on the Air Buds Pro. And also on the bottom, it looks quite a bit different. Now, if we compare that to the product, the Black Pods product, these two must be, oh no, they're not, this is a matte finish on this product compared to glossy on the earlier one. So the paint, but the hinge is the same. And the grill unit is a bit different on this one. The whole thing is not a grill. These ones are similar, but they're also a little different. And then the last pair of the Pro models is these ones called Nokis. Now the box here looks identical to the box from the first pair, the Air Buds Pro. That one looks almost exactly like the first one. Oh. No, the hinge is a bit different on the container. It's kind of wild. There's all these little variations and varieties. The Nokis probably have the best grill component. It's the it's buried in there the smoothest. My goodness, would you look at that? Now also, it's important to note the black pods situation. The original inspiration was to create an AirPod-like device that was black because Apple didn't do it. They did not make black available. So of course, when it comes to the Pro model, they're gonna have to have the black version as well. And this one is the matte black style. Exactly the same, except for the fact that it's matte black. 
The Black Pods models are using a traditional USB connector to Lightning, and the earlier ones that I unboxed, the Air Buds Pro and the Nokis are using Lightning to USB Type-C. Okay, so that's another thing worth mentioning. All right, so the last one to add to the mix before we listen to a couple of these is the Air Golds, which to me, it's obviously the most unique of the bunch. It's gonna be painted in gold by the looks of it. It effectively gives you a painted gold AirPod if you if you really have to show that off. I don't know, maybe you wanna be different. What I'm really curious about is the new pro models of this variety of products that exists that aren't made by Apple. So let's go ahead and test a few of these. All right, so I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max over here. I also have a wireless charger here in order to check which ones wireless charge. So here are the black pods, also an orange light, which is tougher to see. So those ones are charging wirelessly. The white black pods, same thing, orange light comes on. These are the Nokis. A super dim orange light comes on, so they're charging. And the Air Buds Pro. Yes. Whoo! And it's also got a really dim, tiny little orange light that comes on. So they all appear to support wireless charging. I wanna be clear as well at this moment before I listen to these things, I am not promoting or endorsing these products. Purchase at your own risk. Obviously the dream of getting an AirPod-like device for a hundred bucks, AirPods Pro device for a hundred bucks. That's obviously an appealing concept. So do your own due diligence. Mm -hmm. Let's kick it off with the black pods themselves. Oh, okay. Look at that. It's setting up essentially the same way that the Apple branded AirPods would. One of the cool features of the official AirPods Pro is that they have these microphones on the exterior of the device. I don't think you're getting any of that functionality here. You're getting a product very similar to their previous product that they did, but in a new format with an in-ear style. Let's see if I have audio coming through. I'm getting play pause functionality on the button. If I tap it, it gives me an audio feel like a tick tick, like I'm switching modes but I don't, I don't hear a discernible difference. I mean, as headphones, they, they sound all right though. That's the problem. See, that's the problem with this is people, what they really wanna know is can I have fully wireless headphones, earbuds, that are convenient to pair with my iPhone, presumably, and am I gonna hear what I'm listening to? And you are, and they don't sound as good as the real deal, but it's a fraction of the cost and people are cost sensitive, so it's easy to understand. Or maybe they want black ones and it's not even an option directly from Apple. You could of course go out and get them painted. Uh, this is a Colorware product. These are the official AirPods 2 painted black, but that'll cost you even more. Yeah, they sound okay. Uh, I, I think you gotta adjust your expectations obviously to go with the price. So next, why don't we do, this is the AirBuds Pro, the first product that I unbox. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay, same thing. Now I have to say, man, this just, it looks like a sticker that you peel off. Yeah, it's definitely a sticker, Jack, you see that? There's no microphone there, all right? This starts playing right away. Oh, okay, there, it responded. These sound way worse, oh. way worse. I, I think a lot of people would say that's unacceptable, hmm. actually, that product. Last up, here we go. These are called the Nokis, and interestingly enough, these ones have some details on the inside of the lid. I don't know if Jack can see that there's text up in there. A serial number and a model number. Wow, so those connected real smooth. These are the official ones. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. I was gonna say, what's going on right now? I hear my surroundings, the mics are on, they sound good. I'm like, what's happening? I had the, these two screwed up, man, holy. Man, I gotta say right now though, just as a little side note since we're doing this, the mics are turned on in the outside. I feel so comfy right now on pause, mm. just talking to you. That everything, the whole thing, when I put this on, it all felt super quality. And I was like, <laughs> wait a second here. All right, so on to the last one. This is the Nokis. It's like $95, you say $5 off the black pods. It's the only one where the grill on the side is not an obvious sticker. I still doubt that it's an actual microphone or speaker unit in there or anything like that. You can see I flip it open 
right away. Oh, look at this, hold button, okay. And it's telling me to pinch it to go between modes, but there's no way that's built into this, come on. Anyway, let's listen to these. All right. These ones sound pretty good. Mmm, Nakis, KP Pro. I need to do a quick one, two. Nakis versus official. Official time. Oh man, this is this is complicated switching back. It's uh they sound better. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The bass is actually accentuated on the Nakis. It doesn't sound better. That obviously the original AirPods sound better, but so obviously you're not getting any of the cool features with the pass-through and the microphone, no matter which one you go for. That's just something you give up if you don't want to spend the 250. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't even have to be Apple headphones. If you want that feature, it's gonna cost you some money, regardless of which you select. But when it comes to sound, probably for me, the best sounding ones are the last pair that I wore. There's a lot of volume. There's some low end in there. It doesn't sound as full across the entire range as what the official AirPods Pro do. But look, man, if you want to take a chance, do I think you should do it? It's complicated I, because these are super convenient, the entire package, the way this thing is put together. That's what makes the AirPods so successful to begin with. I guess I kind of hate the fact that you're not getting the feature that I like so much in the actual AirPods, which is the mic pass through which you can toggle on or off and the effective noise canceling. So I would pay the extra money, but if you're super cost sensitive, I would say probably just skip the pro model altogether and get the cheapo version of the regular AirPods because those go as low as 50 bucks and you're obviously not in it for the ultimate sound quality. That said, if you're, if you're dead set on having a hundred dollar pair of AirPods pro equivalent, probably go with the Nakis model out of the bunch that I tested here. That's pretty much all I can say. Shop at your own risk. That's that.